We're learning more about Arizona's decision to leave the Pac-12 for the Big 12. U of A President Robert Robbins and Athletic Director Dave Hickey spoke publicly about it for the first time today. They say there were a lot of moving parts. Our intention all along was to see what the Pac-12 um, could pull together, um, what that deal might be. That deal, according to Arizona President Robert Robbins, would have given schools $23 million a year, but it also would have been streaming only and subscription based. We were trying to think, well, it's going to be like selling uh, you know, candy bars for Little League. Even so, Robin says he was ready to agree to the deal. We were all expecting Friday morning, we were showing up together to sign in blood uh, our grant of rights over to the, uh, to the Pac-12. That changed after learning Oregon and Washington were moving to the Big Ten. After that... We thought the future was going to be brighter um, being a member of the, of the Big 12. It was about the future, it was about stability, both financially and competitively. The Big 12 now spans across 10 states and three time zones. There's a lot of unknowns, especially with scheduling, but as far as travel goes, Athletic Director Dave Hickey says there may not be a significant change. Depending on how we go in the future, how we look at the different scheduling models, um, how it can be divided up, there is a chance that it could be uh, save, it will save us in some costs as well. There also won't be a change with the Arizona State rivalry. It was a priority for President Robbins, and ASU President Michael Crow. The two of us uh, thought it was in the best interest of the state uh, for both of our universities um, for the rivalry. President Robbins also excited for new rivalries to form. You know, story programs, Kansas and Arizona basketball, people will want to show up for that one.